and it says it's charging at a rate of two miles per hour. Okay, that was probably not good. Let's hope this works. So a couple weeks ago, I placed an order for a Tesla Model 3. And I'm about to place my order. I'm gonna place order. It's loading. Order complete, haha, <laughs> yes. And today, I am going to get the car. Okay guys, it is Tesla delivery day. I'm so excited, I, I seriously couldn't even sleep last night. So I placed my order exactly two weeks from today. It's June 19th, I placed it on the 5th. And they said at the time it would take about two weeks. So it's right on time. On Sunday, I got a text saying it was ready to schedule for delivery. So let's go pick up my car. Unfortunately, after that clip, I plugged in this microphone and it turns out this microphone is broken. All of that footage is silent. But I'll take you guys through my Tesla delivery day anyway. I'll just do voiceover and talk you through it with a bunch of B-roll. So me and my friend Morgan Ubered over to the delivery center in Marina Del Rey. You go inside and there's like this little showroom. We've got some Teslas in there, some merchandise. We had to wait probably like 15 minutes, but to me, you guys, it felt like an hour because I was so excited to get the car. But yeah, it wasn't actually that long. After that, they basically just brought over the paperwork. It took maybe 10 minutes to just sign everything because I've already prepaid for the car, I already have my insurance, no negotiations, like they don't do anything like that. So it's so easy, you just like sign everything again and you're good to go. Then I noticed I opened up my Tesla app and all my car stuff was available. I can honk the horn, I can flash the lights, everything. Basically after signing it, they're like, all right, you can go find your car in the parking lot. All you have to do is go on the app and flash the lights. So me and Morgan guessed which one was mine. So I flashed the lights and there it was. Then I checked out the car, inspected it, make sure it didn't have any like marks or anything like that the car had like 12 miles on it like it's brand new and it was charged to 160 miles so it wasn't like fully charged but it had a good enough battery that i can pretty much go anywhere shelby yeah. bought a tesla <laughs> I'm, so I'm honored to be the first passenger yeah morgan is the first passenger in the car oh my gosh ah! i'm gonna freak out during the autopilot i just can't believe I have a Tesla now. Like, it just feels weird. This Yay. feels like I just am, like, sitting in someone else's. Nah, girl. This is mine. <laughs> So we decided to take the car to Malibu. I just wanted to drive the car somewhere pretty along the ocean. And Morgan hadn't been in the Model 3 I rented, so it was fun to be like, check out the autopilot, and everyone gets like freaked out by it at first. So, so I just took it to Malibu and like got lunch and you know, just normal things. So I'm doing a voiceover because all the audio is gone obviously, but I went to do autopilot and change lanes and I realized that I didn't get a Tesla that has the auto lane change, but it still has autopilot like auto steer oh yeah it'll change later <gasps> do you want to see that no <laughs> yeah, yeah, trust me, it's cool. i'm gonna put i'll put the blinker on watch i'm not doing this i'm gonna check just in case make sure it's oh like it. i'm honestly surprised it hasn't told me to put my hands on the steering wheel yet <laughs> but it's not getting over then we just went to Malibu and had lunch. And when I walked back, I realized I could use the app to cool down the car so that when we came back, you could get in and it wouldn't be like scorchingly hot inside, which was super nice. So basically to have autopilot that has auto lane changes, you have to get the full self-driving. So I can actually still upgrade to that if I want to. It's just a firmware update. I might eventually, but for now I love the autopilot and yeah. Call me basic, but I did drive it to a really photogenic looking street so I could get a photo with it, mostly for the thumbnail of this video. So after I went to Malibu, I took the car home. And this was like a moment of truth because if you guys watched the other video, I talked about this a little bit, but I was worried that parking in my driveway, it was gonna scrape because the Tesla Model 3 is so low to the ground. It makes it so you bottom out so easily. Like, it's stupid, honestly. Don't love that about the car, but whatever. So, <laughs> so when I rented that car, I would park at my driveway, but I would hear something scrape when I parked. It looks like something got, um, tugged on something. Because there was like a little piece of plastic out of that rented car, but I was still paranoid. I was like, okay, is this gonna like ruin my car? Can I not park here? Because if I can't park there, then I can't charge it at night. I called Tesla 
and asked if they could like drive a car over to my house and try it. They were like, yeah, we'll be over in 20 minutes. I was like, wait, what? Like, I'm not even home yet. They beat me to my house. <laughs> Amazing customer service, like love that. So they tested it and sure enough, the car did scrape when you went in straight, but when you went in at an angle, it didn't scrape. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I can just go in at an angle, but I was still like a little nervous about it. I was like, can I go in at an angle? Like, so I opened my garage door, I backed the car in at an angle and it didn't scrape, like it was totally fine. So then it was time to charge it and see how quickly it would charge at home. A lot of people actually asked me about this. They're like, did you get something installed? Like, how are you gonna charge it at home? Like, what are you gonna do? So what I'm gonna do is try it and just charge my Tesla at home with a normal 120 volt outlet. So if you don't know what that is, it's just this normal outlet you see in every house. The same outlet you use to charge your phone. The, the, you can charge a Tesla with this. No one seems to know this, but you can. Okay, so when we open the trunk, you'll see that the car comes with this battery pack thing. Not battery pack, charger. Let's check out what we got in here. <laughs> also ignore how messy my garage is. Me and my roommates have kind of let it go and we're gonna clean it up because I'm gonna start parking in here so I can charge my car. Anyway, let's see what we got in here. Cause I didn't actually look at this when I rented that car. So it looks like we have something that would plug into a normal outlet and then this pretty long cord and this part goes into the Tesla. And there's also this, which I'm pretty sure is the NEMA converter. So you can charge it at like Whole Foods and places where they have the random EV chargers. It seems like this goes into here. Yeah, exactly. Wow, this is actually super simple. Unfortunately, the only outlet in this entire garage is right up here right there so this doesn't really seem like it would stay up it's just a little bit too heavy pretty easy fix though i'm just gonna run an extension cord down so luckily i'm a youtuber so i have just a bunch of extension cords on hand let's just plug this in up here and then i guess we plug this part where do we plug this in then okay that was probably not good and it fits, yay. And now I'll just run it along to the car, I guess, and hope it works. This cord's actually like very long. Whoa, I think it's 20 feet, they say. It automatically closed because my phone is now a key. <laughs> like, car, don't worry, I'm here. Let's hope this works. I don't know why it wouldn't. Seems like it works. Okay, so I'm in the car now, and it says it's charging at a rate of two miles per hour. So that's really slow. Like, that's not gonna work. Now that might just be because I'm in the car right now, so it's using a little more battery. So I'm gonna leave the car alone, let it charge, and we'll see how fast it charges. So now the car is like all off on its own charging. And now that I'm looking at it on my phone, it's charging at a rate of six miles per hour. And honestly, six miles an hour will really add up because a lot of times my car will be home obviously all night, like eight to 10 hours a day at least. So that's between like 50-ish, 60 miles, sometimes even more. Like on weekends, I'll probably have my car home a little bit more. So really between this 120 volt outlet and supercharging, it should be no problem. But I might still have an electrician come and like move that outlet because probably an extension cord all the time. Probably not the safest, but I've been monitoring it. Don't worry guys. If you happen to be an electrician and know stuff about that, comment down below. Another thing I didn't even realize and I didn't even like get to use when I rented the car is how much you can control the car with the Tesla app. This is what the Tesla app looks like. First of all, you can use your phone as a key. So when I walk up to my car, it unlocks, and when I walk away from my car, it locks. Cool, when I walk away from the car, it just locks and everything. I don't even do anything, like watch. You give it a second. Which is so convenient, like I don't have to get out a key, none of that, like, I, I love that. Basically, I just had to set that up. It's just having your Bluetooth on. Super easy. You can also do all these different controls. So I can flash the lights, honk the horn, open the trunk, the front trunk, the frunk, which, oh my gosh, you guys. I know I opened the frunk wrong. I promise I will open it correctly. And you can start the car, you can turn on sentry mode. Sentry mode is basically a mode where all the cameras are on and recording. So if anyone like vandalizes your car, you have evidence of it. All right, so I'm gonna put sentry mode on in the car. I'll be gone for probably an hour. So we'll see if it drains the battery at all. It's at 110 miles right now. It's supposed to drain at like one mile per hour, so it'll probably just be at 109 miles when I get back. All right, I'm back. Is it that sentry mode? 
had three events reported. That's funny, it's probably just people walking by. Wow, I can't feel my face. Okay, the battery is at 108 miles, so it lost two miles. I was gone like an hour and a half, so that makes sense. You can turn on valet mode. I'm not even sure what that is. You can also see where your car is at. So if you let someone borrow your car, you can see where they take it. <laughs> you can see if it's charging. You can actually stop it from charging. So I can click stop charging. Now it just stopped charging, or you can start charging again. So if you're supercharging it and you're at a restaurant, you can stop charging it from your car, which is really cool. So the iPhone app is awesome, and I didn't even realize how helpful it would be. Um, so I love it. I love it, like it's really cool. I just love that you can walk up to your car and it unlocks. Very, very convenient. So that is my Tesla delivery day without audio, sadly. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you end up wanting to get a Tesla, use my referral link to get a thousand free supercharger miles. Um, and if you have any questions at all about the car or about like anything, just comment them down below and I'll try and answer them. And yeah, that is it for this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.